हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कूपर एजुकेट टू इम्पावर स्क्रैच जूनियर ऑनलाइन कोर्स लेसन नाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक एन ईस्टर एग गेम फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक इन टू द प्रोजेक्ट So this was the project. Let's begin the coding now. First, we'll start by deleting the sprite that comes with the new project. Uh, we need three pages for this, so we will add three pages and delete the sprite that comes with the new page. Let's design the start screen first. Let's click on the background and paint the background. Click on the fill in option and select the green color. Uh, first make a square and then select fill in option again and then fill in the square and then click tick to save it. Now click on the text above and write it down the name of the game. The name is Easter Egg Game. We can select the size, so you can select the third, fourth size from the beginning and then adjust wherever you keep it, you can select that. Uh, then the next text is play now and you can select the size, maybe three is appropriate. And then place it here. Now we need a play now button, so we can again uh, select the paint click on the circle here make the circle select the fill in option and fill in with a dark color and then click take drag it in the center and then you can increase its size by clicking on the purple blocks and then clicking on the grow block and then you can increase it once, twice or whatever size you need. Now let's design the second background. Uh, in this background we'll click on the paintbrush, click on the fill in option and fill in the color. Now we have to make the tiles. So we will select the square here, select black color and then you can just make the tiles. You can also choose your own design. So you have to, in this game I'm making four tiles. You can choose to make any number of tiles you want or anywhere you want. Once you're done with the shape of the tiles or the number of the tiles, you can click on the fill in option, select black color to fill in the shapes with the black color. So this is basically our background for this game. So we'll click tick yeah click on the abc and type on the top collect all the eggs so that the user know what he is going to do in this game and you can just put it on the top now we can design the background for the third screen that is the u1 screen click on the background click on the paint select the color and fill in and click tick now we can just put simple text u1 sorry and you can put it in the center so this is the background for these three screens let's click on the first one now we want that when the user clicks on this sprite it should take us to the second page because whenever we want to play the game we'll click on the button and it should take us to the game. So we'll go on the yellow blocks and select the block start on tab character and put it down. Then click on the red blocks and you want to take it to the second screen so you can see the two here on the top. Drag it and put it at the back. You can also test it if you click on the green button it takes you to the second page. So this is the design for the first page. 
now we can add the sprites for the game so we'll click on the plus sign on the left we have to choose a rabbit so we can just go down it's here and we can click take we have to place the rabbit here but we want the size of the rabbit to be lesser than what it is right now we'll click on the purple blocks drag the shrink block the third one put six here and click on it so it decreases the size of the rabbit so you can place it here now we can create the eggs for the game click on the paintbrush drag the circle block select the black color for the boundary and you can draw the egg you can put as many lines in the egg as you want you can click on the free flow and put the lines like i'm doing right now you can make whatever shape you want whatever sizes you want based on what you like but i'm making a small circles here in the middle now to fill in the color in the egg we have to choose the fill in option on the right you can choose any color i'm choosing red for now and i'm clicking in the fill in option and you can choose yellow or fill in the lines in the middle so and you can click take so this is the first character we can put it on the first branch now we can reduce the size of the egg you can click the shrink block and tap it once so if this is look this looks bigger to you you can tap it again and if this is fine that's okay so we will add three more eggs because we have three more shelves here so i have already created the eggs here different color the blue one the orange one and the purple one so i'll choose one of them i'll put on the second shelf again to reduce the size maybe put four here and tap it only once and then put it back on the shelf again add the third the orange one put it on the shelf drag the shrink block put number 4 and tap it once and then adjust the egg now we'll add the fourth egg that is the purple one we can put the egg on the shelf and repeat the steps put four here and tap it but this is taking it to a much smaller size so we will increase its size by 2 so it becomes almost same so this is the egg and the rabbit now we want to move the rabbit using the buttons so we have to design the button here click on the triangle select the black color and make the shape click on the fill in option and fill in with black color and click tick so you can put it here you need four such arrows so we have one we need three more so we'll add this three times so this has to be left so in this you can say whenever the green flag is clicked we want the arrow to turn left so we have to see by how many left we want to turn it so let's look into that so this is turn left block under the blue blocks you can take it and put 3 here and you can test it when green flag is clicked it's turning left so now you can place it at the right position similarly add again and click tick now we want it to turn right whenever the green flag is clicked so we'll select the yellow blocks when green flag is clicked turn right so we will put 3 here and check what happens when it turns right now place it at the right position now we need one for the bottom we'll again select the triangle we'll put the triangle at the bottom and we have to turn it downwards so we'll when green flag is clicked we'll turn it either left or right but we have to turn double so we can choose any we can choose left for now 
and instead of 3 we have to put 6 because it has to take a full 180 turn so when you click on the green flag you can see you have all the buttons here so these are all the sprites that we need for the programming now let's begin the coding so let's start from the current sprite so this is the down arrow so we want when the down arrow is clicked the rabbit should move downwards by one step so whenever we touch the down arrow we want it to send some message to the rabbit so when the rabbit gets this message it should go down by one step so let's make this message red in color so when the rabbit now we'll click on the rabbit when the rabbit receives the red color message it should go down so we'll go in the motion blocks and select the down arrow block which means move down by one step now again we'll go back to the arrows so when the up arrow is clicked again we want the rabbit to move up by one step so when up arrow is clicked we want it to send orange message and when the rabbit receives the orange message it should go up so it's like the motion blocks select the up arrow and only by one step so we have done the up and the down arrow let's do the left and the right so when the left arrow is clicked the rabbit should move towards the left so we'll select the message block but orange and red we have already used so for left we can use maybe green uh, actually when it touches the sprite it should send the green message so we can change this message to green and similarly for right one when it touches the sprite maybe we can select the yellow message in this case and we can change it to yellow so the yellow is for the right and the green is for the left so we can go to the rabbit and when the rabbit receives the green message it should go towards the left and when it receives the yellow message it should go towards the right let's select the right arrow and all the steps should be just one so we can test it when the green flag is clicked uh, sorry when the arrow is clicked it's going right if the left it's going left for up it's going up and for down it's going down okay so now the arrows have been programmed now we are moving the rabbit so we want whenever the green flag is clicked the rabbit should come back to its home position so we'll go to the motions block and select go home block so whenever this is the flag is clicked it will go back to the home location which is the starting point we can also make the frog jumpy so when the frog is clicked we can select the jump and we can make it jump a little high maybe by 10 so whenever we touch it it goes a little high so we can move the rabbit by this and it can go up on the shelves by this way or we can make it jump by touching it so there are two ways to play this game so these all features are designed now we'll go to the uh, the egg so in case of the red egg first we want whenever the rabbit touches the egg that is start on bump character because both are the characters we want the egg to disappear so we'll go into the purple blocks select the height block and when it disappears we want it to stop everything now when the green flag is clicked every time we want the egg to reappear because it might have disappeared in the last game so we will use the show block and then we will set a timer for the egg before it blinks and disappears again for some time maybe for 20 and after the timer it again hides and then again after some time we want it to show again so again 20 seconds and we want it to reappear again so we'll use the show block 
so this is the programming for the red egg let's go to the blue one similarly in case of the blue one also whenever it touches the rabbit we want it to disappear so we'll use the disappear the hide block now whenever the green flag is clicked we don't want to see the blue egg at the same time we see the red egg so when we are making the red egg show we'll hide the blue egg whenever the green flag is clicked and then after some set timer of about 20 seconds we can again show the egg by using the show block and then we can repeat these steps again by putting the timer two times and then going to purple blocks and select selecting the height and putting it in between the timers and then show at the end of the timer so you can do this differently as well but if you want the script to be exactly same please use the 20 seconds timer now for the orange block we want it to do the same thing as the blue block is doing so we'll just copy the code here drag it on the orange and put it in that and we'll also drag the yellow ones when it collide and put it into that now for the purple ones we want it to behave uh, in a different manner but it, it should behave similarly to the red one but we'll design it again so whenever it touches the frog sorry the rabbit it should disappear and then when it is the last egg we want it to go to the u1 screen so instead of stopping it should go to the orange screen the third one so we will put this now what should happen when a green flag is clicked so whenever it is clicked we want it to show for some time and then we want the timer to be there for it to disappear again of 20 seconds because it should be similar to the red one so the red one was also disappearing after 20 seconds so that is why we are designing purple to be disappearing after 20. So we'll go into the purple blocks and select the disappear and then it has to reappear again but there has to be a timer in between. Go to the orange blocks, select the timer and put it in between that and change it to 20 if you want the script to be same. So this is the coding for all the blocks. Now we can look into the project. Let's click on the look in screen. Now there are two ways to play this game, either you can just play with the rabbit and you can just click it and it goes to the place and eat the eggs. So this way you can collect the eggs. And now I'll show you the second way to play the game. You can go to the location but instead of going up, you can just use the touch the rabbit and it will jump and take the egg. So you won. So you can either play by jumping or by going to different locations. So this was the project. Thank you for watching.